So uh, T1D in baseball, not only just that, but, but a prospect, um, that's, you would think, wouldn't go hand in hand. But for you, my friend, it does go hand in hand. How, how have you bucked it? How have you taken care of it? And, and uh, you know, made sure that you could be an active, successful athlete? Mainly just eating good, waking up in the morning, checking my blood, and getting a good meal. Prepare a day before your game or practice or whatever you got to do. Before your game, check it before your game. Make sure you're good. I mean, if it's a little high, turn my basal rate up so it comes down. I mean, if it's low, I turn my basal rate down so my blood stays even. Check it. I usually check it about three times a game. I mean, I go, I mean, sometimes I'll feel funny so I'll check it, and then sometimes like, I'll check it before I go to the back because it's, it's just a habit. But yeah, I mean, I check it usually during the game to make sure I'm going good, make sure everything's running right. A lot of people take for granted how they treat themselves. You have to be locked in. I mean, you can't mess up. You want to have a strong liver being diabetic, so you don't want to do anything to damage that. So, I mean, I do got to watch myself a lot, what I eat, what I drink, make sure it's under control, what I eat before I go to bed. It sounds like it's yours, it's your disease that mm -hmm. you battle, you own it. Now you want to have it be your career someday, how? I, I mean, I want it to be my career in a way where I can help kids personally with it. I don't want to just be a doctor that just tells them how to take care of it. I want to help them like what they're going through with it, when they're going through rough times with it. Because a doctor can only give you numbers and tell you what you should do. Well, I can help people a little more than that. Because I know when my numbers are bad, the things doctors tell me that think work don't always work right. I mean, there's other ways around it, too. It's got to be cool for you to know that there, and the last time we talked, you, you talked about you knew there were pro basketball players. Mm -hmm. It's for baseball players too. It's got to be cool for you to know the awareness that continues to grow um, with what was once called, uh, you know, juvenile diabetes. That you know, there's there's groups out there slam T1D, very aggressive athletics, and and it's all surrounding what you're going through right now. So it's hey man, it's it's in the big leagues too. Yeah, I know. I mean. A lot of people hide it that you don't even know. Like, I mean, I had friends for five years that didn't know I was diabetic until I pulled out my pump one day. Wow, and that's not uncomfortable? No, it doesn't bother me. Should we feel sorry for you? No, don't Why? feel sorry for me because, I mean, God does everything for a reason.